so it is the most important one what is that sometimes the coordination sphere will have negative charge sometimes it is with positive charge sometimes it is with negative charge this is the coordination coordination sphere which is indicated with square bracket here outside of the square bracket the coordination sphere may be with positive charge or may be with negative charge if it is positive charge the name itself written as the common word common format but if the coordination sphere with negative charge then only at the end of the metal atom name we have to use a8 for example fe cn taken 6 minus 2 so just observe here it is minus 4 just observe here this is coordination sphere and what is the charge present with the coordination sphere minus charge so if it is with minus charge then let us write the name of the compound hexa cyano so why we have to use o here cyanide is a negatively charged ligand then we have to use cyano how many cyanides are there six so hexa cyano the coordination sphere due to presence of negative charge the iron is called as ferrate because at the end of the metal atom name we have to use eight and the oxidation state mentioned after the name of metal atom in roman format in brackets so this is hexacyanoferrate sometimes the names for the central metal atoms provided based on their origin of the letters for example yes and is there actually it is a tin but it is used as stannate during the nomenclature it is from latin language and it is also used as stannate similarly if iron present then it is called as ferrate if lead present then it is called as plumbate etc means some of the metals during while we are going to provide names for such metals so we have to follow their origin letters or based on origin words and the next during the nomenclature some more are there what are those sometimes prefixes are used prefix are used to explain the arrangement arrangement of ligands around around the central atom around the central atom so what is this let us have a look prefixes like cis and trans are used which prefixes are generally used by us cis or trans for example i would like to consider platinum nh3 nh3 cl and cl in this metal complex the platinum coordinated with two chlorines and two ammonia molecules here two ammonias are same side two chlorines are also same side to the platinum hence this is called as cis that means same side similar type of ligands present whereas around the platinum if ammonias are arranged like this nh3 where chlorine and chlorine so just identify the difference between these two the molecular formula is same but the arrangement of ligands around the central atom is different here two ammonias same side two chlorines are same side but here two ammonias are opposite side two chlorines are opposite side hence we have to use a prefix as trans to provide name for this compound so cis and trans are used during the nomenclature of given coordination complexes if the ligand same type of ligands present same side of the metal atom then we have to use cis as the prefix word 
if same type of ligands present opposite side to the metal atom then we have to use trans as the prefix word and the last statement under nomenclature of coordination compounds that is sometimes bridged ligands present some ligands are present in between two metals so such ligands are called as bridged ligands bridged ligands once again what are bridged ligands some ligands are present in between two metal atoms those ligands are called as bridged ligands so in case of bridged ligands we have to use mu as the prefix word before that bridged ligand while we are going to provide or write the name for that bridged ligand before the name of the bridged ligand we have to use mu m u is the pronunciation mu example n h 4 sorry n h 3 take n 4 c o that means cobalt o h n h 2 c o n h 3 take n 4 actually it is a coordination complex this coordination complex with positive charge so let us have this while we are going to identify the structure of this complex hydroxy is coordinated between two cobalt metal atoms and nh2 is also present in between two metal atoms where this side or this cobalt with four ammonias and this cobalt atom also connected with four ammonias and present together so as per our statement what are these the ligands which are connected to two metal atoms or which are present in between two metal atoms are called as bridged ligands while we are going to write name for these bridged ligands before the name for these bridged ligands so we have to use a symbol that is mu so let us write the name for this compounds mu amido nh2 is pronounced as amido so in this amido what we are using mu stands for the nh2 group is present as bridge between two metal atoms or ions mu amido comma mu hydroxo why because while we are going to write the name for the coordination complex with different ligands what we have to follow we have to follow alphabetical order so mu amido mu hydroxo bis tetramine cobalt 3 complex so this is the name provided for in case bridged ligands present so this is the nomenclature of coordination compounds.